the Duke of Cambridge was in his element as he eyed up a vintage motorbike and posed next to the Premier League trophy at a glittering reception to welcomed Commonwealth leaders to London. Motoring Mad William, whose wife is currently on maternity leave, could barely hide his glee as he toured stands at the Welcome to the UK reception at Queen Elizabeth II Conference Centre in Westminster on Monday evening. The event brings together delegates from the Commonwealth Business, People's, Women's and Youth Forums to kick-start the start of Commonwealth Heads of Government Meeting, CHOGM, Summit Week. The Duke, a lifelong Aston Villa fan, opened the evening with a short speech before joining the Prime Minister in a tour of exhibition stands collated by the Department for International Trade and the Great Campaign, set to demonstrate creativity, technology and innovation from across the UK according to organisers. The reception will bring together up to 2,000 delegates from business, civil society and youth-led organisations, many of whom will be visiting the UK for the first time. The exhibition will also showcase examples of UK and Commonwealth partnership, including the world's oldest motorcycle brand Royal Enfield. It will play host to the Commonwealth Fashion Exchange, and a space descent virtual reality experience with Tim Peake, in conjunction with the Science Museum, on Thursday. The Queen is set to host the formal opening of the Commonwealth Heads of Government Meeting, CHOGM, in the ballroom of Buckingham Palace. The Windsors will be out in force, with Prince Charles, the Duchess of Cornwall, William and Harry all attending the ceremony. They will also be joined by Prince Andrew, Princess Anne, the Countess of Wessex, the Duke of Kent, Prince and Princess Michael of Kent, and Princess Alexandra. The Duchess of Cambridge is currently on maternity leave and is expected to go into labor any day now. The opening ceremony falls exactly a month before Meghan marries Harry in Windsor on May 19. The Queen, who is head of the Commonwealth, will give a speech and officially declare CHOGM open at the palace. Future King Charles, who does not automatically inherit the head of Commonwealth role when he becomes monarch, will give words of welcome to guests including heads of government, the Commonwealth Secretary-General, High Commissioners foreign ministers and faith leaders.